Hello, welcome back, students. In the last session, we studied the difference between a junction field effect transistor and the MOSFET. In that, we studied the uh, how the de depletion MOSFET and enhancement MOSFET works. What do you mean by transfer and uh, output characteristics? Uh, and what are the applications of the uh, MOSFET? What is the difference between a uh, 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 junction field effect transistor and uh, MOSFET. All these things we studied in our last class. In this session today, so we are going to study introduction to operational amplifier. Now, the question comes, what is an operational amplifier? A operational amplifier is a versatile component and the name operational amplifier because it can be used in many functions or many applications such as integrator, differentiator, adding, summing, subtraction and uh, filter, signal condition, all those application operational amplifier can be used. That's why the name operational amplifier came into the picture. In the diagram, my dear students, you can see in the diagram this is the symbol for the operational amplifier. This is the symbol for the operational amplifier. Where this is called as inverting input and this is called as non-inverting input. And this is our output. Other than that, we are giving bias by using plus VCC and minus VEE. So now, This is the circuit diagram for the practical operational amplifier. In the practical operational amplifier, the circuit diagram you can see, the operational amplifier will amplify the different signal. Here you can see voltage at the inverting terminal. Here you can see voltage at the non-inverting terminal. So the our operational amplifier will amplify the different signal. That's why it is called as VD. And this is the gain block. This is the input impedance between the two terminals. And this is the output impedance of our operational amplifier. So now, the electrical equivalent model for ideal operational amplifier. So in the ideal operational amplifier, there is no connection between the two terminal. That means input impedance is very high. That means input impedance is very high or infinite. And you can see here, output is uh, shorted that means uh, output impedance is uh, zero so that is the difference between a uh, practical and uh, ideal operational amplifier <coughs> my dear students now i'll take you to the, our notes class notes so first we'll see generalized uh, voltage amplifier model for uh, generalized voltage amplifier model for uh, model or it is also called as uh, Thevenin's equivalent model. Thevenin's equivalent model consists of normally voltage source and uh, resistance. Uh, so here you can see this is the amplifier section. This is the ampl our amplifier section. This is our amplifier section and uh, this is the input source what we are going to connect and this is the input impedance source impedance. This is the input voltage and uh, this is the output load we are going to connect and it is output voltage so av high where a indicates uh, open loop gain open loop means uh, when you are not connecting anything from output to the input it is called as open loop and vi is the <laughs> vi is the input voltage so output voltage is the multiplied by a into vi this is called as uh, thevenin's equivalent model Thevenin's equivalent model for a generalized amplifier and it is called as generalized voltage amplifier because if the input is voltage and output it will amplify the voltage only that's why it is called as generalized voltage amplifier model now my dear students uh, we will move to we will move to the difference between uh, we will move to the difference between uh, ideal and uh, practical operational amplifier so you can see the various parameters we are using to compare the difference are First one is something called as bandwidth, second one is second one is sleeve rate, third one is open loop gain, fourth one is common mode rejection ratio, 
Fifth one is power supply rejection ratio, input impedance, output impedance and offset. You are going to study all these parameters, but when you compare ideal operational amplifier and a practical operational amplifier, we are using these uh, parameters to compare. Bandwidth is in the case of ideal operational amplifier is infinite, means uh, infinite bandwidth is available, but practically the operational amplifier, here we are taking 741, it works for only 1 megahertz bandwidth. Sleeve rate is infinite, uh, practically it is 0 0.5 volt per microsecond. Open loop gain is infinite, uh, but practically this one is a common mode rejection ratio, power supply rejection ratio. Input impedance, uh, I said input impedance uh, for uh, uh, ideal operational amplifier is infinite, but practically it is 2 mega ohm. Output impedance, uh, we saw output is shorted in the uh, this one, uh, the, the ideal operational amplifier. But it is zero. Input, output impedance is zero in that case. But practically, it is 75. Like this, uh, these are the difference uh, between uh, various uh, uh, parameters uh, with respect to ideal operational amplifier and a uh, practical operational amplifier. So, this is the IC, my dear students. We are using micro uh, this uh, seven oh, operational amplifier oh, 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 operational amplifier 741. Op amp 741. You can see it is 8 pin IC. So here you can see this is the inverting terminal and this is uh, this is the inverting terminal, this is a non-inverting terminal, this is the output terminal, VCC, all those things you can see. Now we are going to study the various parameters of uh, operational amplifier. These are the various parameters uh, and if you study all these parameters, uh, then it will be very useful. So in the, from the exam point of view, they may ask uh, to write the different operational amplifier parameters or they may ask you to explain the different oper operational amplifier parameters or uh, they may specifically ask uh, uh, three to four parameters. It depends on, uh, on uh, the marks allotted to the particular question. So we have to study all those things. Uh, we will see that in the next session. Thank you.